My name is Evangela Mantler. I am a junior at Burke High School. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> <laughs> this poem is called Bones. Skeletons have always fascinated me. In my dreams, I run my hands over their ribs like xylophones. I let them swing, clack, a ghostly wind chime, a macabre orchestra. I'm infatuated with the way they have nothing to hide. All they are is out in the open. But the marrow that makes them up is a toxic elixir for me. As a child, skeletons were intriguing. How could this element of ourselves be so unknown and uncomfortable? Growing up, I learned it was because skeletons are never supposed to show. They are the behind-the-scenes crew of our creations, the silent spectators of our struggles. Concealed inside closets, skeletons mean secrets. But there's not just a skeleton in my closet right now, there's one inside of me. Stretching under my skin and showing the bones that I'm built on. From the moment I could think, I created two selves. The skin I show is the biggest lie I've ever told. It's at the center of my being, now my spine. There's no way to remove it, it's a part of me. I've always been uncertain where my spinal column ends and my cranium begins. It seems like the secret spread from my spine to my mind when these thoughts run on my brain's bars yearning to break free. Something inside me needs these thoughts to stay its own. As if the secrets can build a wall of protection like the rib cage that I built for myself. By stacking up half-truths and omissions, each rib slides into place and keeps another part of me inside. Organs locked up and protected, and a heart that can never escape. There was a point when my heart stopped. The beating was stilled and all was silent. No blood pumping through this dull body. Then my rib cage was cracked by those cutting me open, extracting my secrets in a vain effort to heal me, brought revelation addiction. The harsh light of operation only left me more broken. I felt the snap once I could no longer stop. Now I've broken so many bones I can no longer recognize them. Can't tell my pinky from my thumb, my tibia from my fibula. There's a freedom that comes from exposing the skeleton within. See, I've been carrying this bag of bones like a walking coffin. And although they hold me up, these bones weigh me down. I'm so tired of fighting my need for secrets. I may as well be buried. It was only my secrets from reigning until the end. These bones seem infallible, but the one problem with skeletons is that they're dead. Yeah.